you have to be real quiet. Adventure of the Seas has a few little secrets, a few little things you may not know when you first get on, but I'm gonna share some secret tips that I've learned, things you can do that you won't maybe figure out for a few days, but you'll know them right away now that you've watched this, so check these things out. First up is accessing the helipad, which is something that you'll probably wanna do early on, maybe even for sail away. It's on deck four. As you see here, you can come out on either the port or starboard side and go towards the front of the ship. You just have to kind of keep going, keep going, keep going, and eventually you'll go up enough stairs and along the side of the ship far enough that you will reach the front of the ship, and there is where the helipad is. You can see there's seating, there's lots of good views from all around the ship. You get almost a 360 degree view from up here, and great place for sail away. Next up is in any inside room, I would recommend that you separate the beds. This is one trick to really open the room up and make it a little easier to get around. It worked really well for us on our last cruise. Also, if you turn the announcements channel to the left, you'll hear a little bit of music. It's kind of fun, right? Well. When you're on a cruise these days, you're going to have to use the app. And so it's not really a secret, but I guess the secret is you should get used to using it because if you think that maybe you can go through the whole cruise and never really need to use the app, it's possible, but you'll probably miss out on knowing about a lot of the activities that are going on. So I would recommend get comfortable with the app and you can actually look at it a few days ahead of time. In the main dining room, order multiple items, multiple appetizers, multiple main courses, multiple desserts. You know, it's all about what you want. Now, you may want to ask your waiter. There may be a few restrictions on this with lobster and stuff, but it should be good. Then go up to deck 11 and get some free soft serve towards the back of the ship near the pool. You can walk up there and get some free soft serve. And if you want to go to Johnny Rockets, the secret is to go through the arcade because it'll be a lot less windy than going around the side of the ship. Make sure to check out the ice skating rink down on deck three. You'll have to go down the middle of the ship, but you can really enjoy getting out on the ice. You're probably not gonna skate nearly as well as the people at the ice show, but you can still enjoy yourself and even meet some people that are in the ice show because they're the people that actually work the, the ice rink. Then on deck 11, go towards the front of the ship and check out the Peekaboo Bridge. This is the name given to the this area where you can look in on the actual bridge. This is the real people driving the ship, making sure that we're all getting to where we're trying to go safely, and they have some displays where you can see what the people on the bridge are actually seeing. It's pretty cool. Next up, I'm gonna talk about some quiet areas places where maybe you want to get away, maybe you just want some quiet views. So go towards the back of the ship on deck four and you will find these great views. It's, it's like this whole covered area. You can walk around the whole back of the ship and really just look out and enjoy the views there without being out in the sun. Also, deck five, Cafe Promenade. You will get used to this. You will get used to seeing people in line for this place because they have pizza and some other little snacks, tea here, kind of a little bonus tip. But Back in the back corner, you will see there's this little area where hardly anyone goes because it's, you know, it's not really out there on the promenade, but it's a nice place to just sit and relax and enjoy your food, get away from people, maybe grab an extra slice of pizza. Also, deck five forward, you can find the card room, which is not real obvious. So this little walkthrough will show you where it is. You basically go towards where they do all the art galleries and then off to the right is this little tiny sign that says card room and inside is this nice quiet little place to play games play cards just hang out with your friends then head up to deck six or seven at either end of the promenade and there's some seats there and you can really get some good people watching in in those same areas and all around on the ship you'll find little miniature versions of the ship Although you'll realize that there isn't one for Adventure of the Seas, or at least I never found it. If you did, leave a comment below and let me know where it is. But I found a couple other model ships for some ships that I've been on, some that I haven't. Here's Brilliance of the Seas. You can see it's a little scale model of the ship. Pretty neat. 
Up on deck 15, you'll find the Skylight Chapel. A little hard to get to, but a nice quiet spot. Then on the next to last day of the cruise, you'll probably have some crown and anchor events where you can maybe meet with the cruise director, probably see the captain, have a Q&A session with people that run the entertainment, the different dance groups, the ice group, you know, some of the backstage. It's really interesting to be able to hear directly from the people who actually are doing all of the work on the ship that you're on. And then on the last day of your cruise, use your television to monitor the departure times for each of the boarding groups or deboarding groups, I guess. And you can see, are they on schedule? Are they behind schedule? How's it going? And you can really have a better idea of where you should be and when you should be there. I hope you've enjoyed these tips. Be sure to share your tips for adventure of the seas in the comments below and check out these other videos that I've got on cruising. Stay curious and have a good one.